Good morning. Uh, my name is Raul uh, Flamenco, and I'm the founder of Capital Networks and co-organizer for Club Native San Salvador. I have with me today uh, Mauricio Quevedo, who is uh, also an, uh, an organizer, uh, to share with, with us some of the uh, experiences in doing Kubernetes Community Day in El Salvador, and also how the community came about, some of the things that we have learned. Mauricio. Hello, everybody. Welcome, uh, and thank you for, for coming here. Uh, well, uh, when you think about technology, probably you don't think about El Salvador, right? So this is something that we absolutely want to change. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, our journey uh, organizing the community here in El Salvador. So for starters, uh, yeah, in El Salvador, there are many things that we have to solve, uh, probably uh, when we're talking about technology, of course, we are just a net receiver of technology and we have to learn and develop uh, uh, software for other countries. But let me tell you, there are many uh, good talent in this country uh, that we can take advantage of. I have my company, we develop software for, uh, for the US mainly. And it's quite surprising when you see the, the level of talent that we have over here. And this is something that we want to, uh, to exploit uh, in a good sense of the word, of course. And, and well, for, for this project, we have started this with a very broad idea that Raul Flamenco here uh, brought uh, to some of us. And we started uh, talking about the CNCF and, and the possibilities that we can develop through it. And this is how we also uh, made a team with uh, Victor Morales from Mexico, and who was a big support for, or who is a big support of, of this project. And we started as usual, not knowing exactly what we were going to do. Uh, but uh, we took an example of some other initiatives. We were taking a look to the website. We were looking uh, and asking how some other uh, countries did it. And this is how we ended up uh, having 18 volunteers. So we went to the local universities and happily uh, we have some contacts and we have developed a network uh, through the years with the universities in which we have been able to get uh, their students to, to work for us and, and place them with other companies as well. And the idea was that these volunteers were going to support uh, initiatives at the social media strategy and they were going to be passing the boys in, the, in their own universities and so on. And this actually turned a very powerful structure because, well, as you know, this kind of initiatives cannot be done just by one or two people. You need actually a team for doing this. And at the same time, uh, this network of universities allow us to, to well, to raise the work regarding CNCF. So now we confidently can say that uh, people in the universities know about the, the movement. And at the same time, uh, we have sponsors. And I will allow uh, Raul to talk about them more in detail. And of course, uh, all the support and all the tools that we have been receiving from CNCF let me tell you this, it has been totally valuable for, for this kind of initiative. And I'm pretty sure uh, you already have, uh, ex have some experience regarding that, that part. So uh, as a consequence of this, uh, of this effort, we were able to develop the cube. Uh, before that, we actually had a couple of other meetings in which uh, we were uh, letting people know how CNCF works and at the same time 
uh, to let them ask more about the opportunities. And this ended with uh, the QCOM, which we uh, developed and in which we had 200 uh, participants. It was quite an experience, especially when the participants saw that we were going to have a lot of international uh, guests uh, in, in the event which turned out to be quite an amazing experience. And, and let me tell you, several of them have been totally impressed about the quality of what they saw. Uh, some of them even asked if this is for real, if it, probably some of them thought that maybe that, that this wasn't a scam, which we made sure to, to let them know that it was not. But it was quite an experience because when you open this kind of opportunities, you, you can actually can change minds. And, and this is something that we want to do as well with the project, right? You, I'm pretty sure you have heard about all these immigration problems to, to other countries. And I think uh, what we are doing here contributes to avoid this kind of situations because at the end of the day, what we need is to create opportunities. And I think uh, what we have seen from CNCF is quite amazing, especially because uh, it's about learning by doing, right? This is not like coming and taking a class, but actually uh, putting your hands to work. And I think this is completely uh, different to another approaches that we might have seen here in the country. And, and this is something that uh, I really love about, about CNCF because this is something that we can use to change lives. And, and let me tell you, this has a lot of value for, for the country. Uh, and of course, there are many challenges with that we are still facing. And, and, and there is now that QCOM is over, of course, we are going probably into the internships. We are trying to move uh, more interest towards them. And we have found people who are already contributed to, to the initiative here in El Salvador, but they were like kind of isolated and they were not integrated in, in a branch here in the country. And, and this is actually the effort that we have done so far. And, and we want to continue doing it. We know there are many things we have to face in the future. Uh, but for that part, I'm going to allow Raul to, to tell us uh, about the future of our initiative here in El Salvador. Go ahead, Raul. Thank you, Mauricio. So I think it will be appropriate to share with you how the um, idea uh, came about. During uh, QCOM in North America in San Diego, um, I noticed the participation were about 12,000 people. And so the question was where the contributors are coming from. And right away, we were able to determine that the majority were from North America, Europe, and, and Asia. So the quite next question was, why not Latin America uh, with 640 million people, right? And so uh, after that, uh, started a conversation with uh, Mauricio and also with uh, Victor. Well, Victor had uh, more experience in working in the community open side. So he noticed, well, in order to get to Kubernetes Community Day, perhaps we need uh, a community. So why don't we just start a community? So for everybody out there who's thinking about starting a community, I'd like to also share that CNCF made it very easy for us to use Bevy, which allow us to uh, host uh, the first three meetings prior to uh, Kubernetes Community Day. And so Victor uh, took it upon himself to prepare the first presentations. Once were about uh, cloud, cloud native uh, 101, and next um, about Kubernetes, and then uh, we had another presentation on, on service meshes. But after Kubernetes Community Day, one of the things that we noticed is the priority had to be in terms of working with, uh, you know, with the youth. And so we start paying more attention to, to the opportunity to participate on the, uh, on the internships. The most immediate one that we're working toward would be the one that is due on the 13th of these, of, um, as we record this, this presentation. And then uh, the next one is gonna start soon. So 
to the organizations that have been very supportive of our efforts is uh, Classwing International. Uh, there's an NGO uh, in, in not only in El Salvador, but in other countries as well, in Central America, where they offer, they help uh, with efforts in education. The other one, it is Superate. Superate has, um, is working with uh, those students that are in high school. The commitment from the students is uh, to, to be part of the program um, during the, the school days, uh, at least three hours per day. And so they concentrate on three things. One is technology, the other one is English, and then, and then values. So we, we saw them as a natural uh, partner to help us to get the message out. So they continue, continue committed to, to this effort. So as we move forward on this, on this idea of getting more and more uh, people connected to the, to the global community, some of the questions, just like uh, Mauricio mentioned, is like some of the kids said, number one, we hear, but this is hard, right? I mean, the technologies are, and also the idea of uh, English right away. But they say, well, but we're going to stick with it. We, we're going to, we want to participate. So we see a commitment right away. Also, they're trying to apply for the, for the internships as well. So um, I don't know if um, Mauricio wanted to share what actually happened the day, the day of the event and how it was a structure. Perhaps, you know, um, Mauricio wants to share his experience, you know, what, what he, as, as a participant of Kubernetes Community Day, what, what, he, what he noticed. Well, you know, it, it was quite revealing. As I mentioned, uh, we are always trying to identify good talent here in El Salvador. And when the, the event was over, people were asking about the, the, the recordings, right? It was almost immediately, we want, we want to see the, the, the event again. And, and this was for sure something that we didn't expect. We always, uh, uh, well, probably it's, uh, because we were having very low expectation regarding the attendance and, and the response of the audience, but they are really enthusiastic. And I think this demonstrates the, uh, the need for, for opening opportunities. I think many people uh, have this experience now that they can work remotely uh, from El Salvador to the U.S. as we are doing it, and and they see this uh, as a big opportunity. In in that regard, uh, I would like to 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 tell you I have spoke with a lot of young people over here, and a common denominator is that they don't want to leave the country, even though you are seeing this uh, old news regarding the immigration. Uh, when you talk to the real people in here, they don't want to go. And, and they will prefer to have an opportunity. And I think this is, this is something that can uh, bring these uh, opportunities to them. And, and this is basically my conclusion, what I saw when the, when the event was over, because uh, sometimes you say, okay, it's over, nothing is gonna happen. But in this case, this was totally different. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, build on what we have learned in terms of the community. Um, again, uh, the first goal was to do Kubernetes Community Day, but we came out of Kubernetes Community Day with a community. And so the community is, is growing as well. Uh, we have now over 250 uh, members. And so we, we see the level of interest. Um, but at the same time, there is that element of you know, hesitancy in terms of thinking, is this for real? Um, Right, and so we, we need to continue working with local, local partners in order to build that trust. So now our goal, our next goal is for those one, two or three participants of the um, mentees to go through a, an internship to come back and then share the story. I think that would be probably the most, the most powerful, uh, I would say, uh, experience that we can share with the local community in terms of building, you know, an even stronger um, opportunity for, for all those involved. Um, I don't know if we have any, any other information that we would like to share, uh, Mauricio, 
please remind me of anything you want me to cover that I yeah, have overlooked? You know, I, I, the, the main thing is to make the invitation, you know, and here there are people who are from all around. Uh, please keep in mind, uh, you can inspire people, right? And, and, and we are willing to, to hear from you for participating and suddenly giving a uh, token or getting engaged uh, with us. Uh, Raul, I have to mention this, he lives in, in California and he wants to give something back to, to his uh, country of origin. And I think this is really valuable, right? To have people who go out of the country and they come back. This is, this is an example of, of people uh, actually doing good things for, for their own country. And I think this, this is uh, something that we have to somehow emulate. So uh, the invitation is, is here. If you want to come and, and participate with us, if you want to, uh, to give us a hand, uh, we will be really happy to, to coordinate with you uh, to try to, to inspire more people through CNCF. Thank you. And please, uh, one way to get in, in contact with us will be to visit uh, Cloud Native San Salvador and look forward uh, to, uh, to the next opportunity to do this in the physical world. Uh, we have beautiful beaches. Um, and so I, we, 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 we are eager to, to make that happen, right? To, to be <laughs> spending you know, time at the beach and, and get to know um, our global community. Thank you for the time. Okay, thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.